Hello guys, welcome to the show. Today is part two and the final part of uh, reviving the black 190E that didn't run and didn't drive. Uh, I've done loads of work on it off camera because uh, basically time crunch and I needed to get it back to the customer. But it's polished. Um, the interior is back in it, the headliner and stuff like that. I've cleaned it up as much as I can. Um, the bonnet is fixed, so now it, it looks closed when it's actually closed, so right now it's open. <coughs> um, yep, and uh, today's job is to change the rear calipers because the last person that did the brakes on it, because it has a brand new discs and pads, uh, the last person that did the brakes, when he pushed back the caliper, he actually uh, cracked the two cylinders inside the calipers. Um, so they will have to be replaced because that's a major safety problem and luckily I took the brakes um, down like I, I opened them so I can um, wind up the handbrake because that wasn't working as well after he replaced the shoes they weren't tight enough and uh, luckily I took these off so I can actually see that there's a major problem with them um, but yeah today I have a brand new um, sorry have a brand new Paget calipers that I need to put on it. Um, I need to put uh, power to the electric seat button because that is not working for some reason. But when I jump 12 volts to the bottom, then it starts working straight away. Um, and yeah, I think we are almost there. I need to change the antenna and the wheels. Okay, as you can see, um, the disc has been changed and the pads have been changed. Um, now to get this caliper off, um, it's pretty easy. Um, to get all that loose and you know removed out of there um, theoretically but in theory like in real life get some WD-40 spray it around because who knows how long that's been um, remove the dust cover cap and spray inside the, the nipple as well in case um, you will need to access it uh, we're gonna need a couple of things so I've got a ratchet swivel head easier 17 millimeter uh, socket for the set ratchet um, flat hair screwdriver just in case and these uh, these are like small punches because um, the 190 the rear calipers um, the way the, the the pads being held in place is by two pins you need to knock them out uh, so you can take the calipers out um, this is really uh, easy when you need to service it and it's being serviced regularly um, Luckily for us, this has been done fairly recent, so these should come out pretty easy if uh, they're being correctly put in. Um, you'll need a, a small hammer to knock these out. Um, 14 millimeter to remove the, um, the brake uh, line at the back. And for the new calipers, you'll need eight millimeter um, wrench or nine, I don't remember. I think it's nine. Yep, it was nine and a 9mm wrench to um, bleed the brakes so let's start with that I'm gonna spray some that with the 40 um, get my 14mm and uh, crack yep there you go crack this loose the brake line um, so it's easier to remove after um, you know we take the caliper off and then we're gonna get the small punches and hit our hands a couple of times there we go nice and easy as i said luckily because that's been done recently Then you're gonna have like a little um, springy thing that um, keeps the pads in place and not vibrating and knocking around when you press the brakes, which I'm just trying to get. That's how it looks like. Um, 
and then the pads should come up fairly easy not on this car because this has sticky calipers in the result of somebody probably beating the hair out of them but you can leave that in there and we can crack the caliper loose Hopefully the new calipers come with some hardware, uh, otherwise I might need to go run and get some uh, red Loctite for the caliper bolts. But we'll see when I open the box, I haven't even checked what I have. There we go. And then flat here we can try these out. There we go. Two pads come out. And uh, we can get the new caliper. There we go. That's our new caliper. Probably remanufactured part, um, but it will do the job just fine. You can see about the same. Um, the only thing is, I grabbed the wrong one. I grabbed the one for the other side. So let me get the other one. And. Uh, it does come with the fitting hardware, with the pins, um, and it comes with four pins, I don't know why, four, pin, four, four pins and two springs, uh, that must be some sort of a mistake, but alright. We'll put them in the stash, you know. There we go, exactly the same thing. Interesting. There we go. Paget remanufactured brake caliper. Yeah. That will do the job nicely for us. I'm gonna remove the caps. I'm gonna crack the fitting loose on the Break the blade, the bleed needle, but a little bit. Yeah, that's correct. Loose, and now we can remove our brake line. Yeah, some WD 40 to clean up the threads. I'm gonna screw in the new one. There we go. And then get a slide. There we go. Nice and tighten up. Boom. Gonna go and grab some Loctite for these, and uh, back in a second. All right, I should put some Loctite on that. Uh, so now we're just gonna tighten them. Put some uh, anti seize on the brake pads and slide them in. Try not to get on the actual brake pad material though, that would be kind of bad trip. It won't squeak, that's for sure. But they might not stop very well as well. And you want that. 
You want to be able to stop. There we go. Tighten that until your shoulder pops. And um, because we have new hardware already, I'm just gonna put these in the stash, keep them. Um, these are literally brand new. There's nothing wrong with them. They're fine. So there was some grease over here. Yep. Try not to get anything on the actual brake material. We can put some on the back as well. Basically, you want these to move freely inside the brake caliper, you don't want them sticking. <coughs> and also, you want pistons to move freely around this. And the only light film grease doesn't, like, doesn't need a lot. Just enough so we can slide in place nice and free. Mm -hmm. Spring in place. Okay, so this is that side done. I'm gonna move to the other side, do exactly the same thing. This is how easy it is to put rear brake calipers on a 190. Well, most of the times it's easy. Um, so what we're gonna do now is put the cap on the old caliper and um, tighten the bleed needle with the nine millimeter. There we go. Put it back in the box and um, get it back to the store so we can get our core charge out. And save 90 pounds or something like that. So, yep, let's do that. And now we can put the wheels on, but you're gonna wait for that one. <laughs> All right, so the brake calipers are bled. Um, now we need to fix the electric seat on the car because it doesn't move forward or backwards or up and down. The only thing that moves is the backrest and it only moves when I give uh, 12 volt directly to the switch. So, we're gonna check the wiring wheel and then we're gonna check if uh, the actual motors work inside the, the seat. So, let me show you how. Alright, so how to test if the motors inside the seat are still working correctly? It's very simple. 
there's a cover, you pull this cover that sits at the front of the seat, of the seat. you pull that off forwards, you disconnect the big plug and then grab two wires on a jump pack and touch the terminals. So the first row moves the seat forward, second row moves the seat forwards and backwards and third row lifts the back of the seat and final row moves the rest position in place so this way we know that the actual seat motors they all work now we're gonna get um, a meter and test the connection between this side of the plug and the side where um, our button connects to and if, if that checks out, then we have a faulty button. Okay, so we put the meter over here, this one. And um, when you touch the two terminals and you close the loop, it makes a beep sound. So, we're gonna find one over there. Slowly go through all these. Yo. Find which one it is. Go back to it. Alright, so black one should check up it. And then the white one checks up it. The blue one should be somewhere here. All these. Okay, look, the blue one. What the one's gonna be somewhere here? So our wiring loom is okay. We can close this back up. And uh, yeah. This is okay. So the main one up, back up, forward and backwards. And the uh, tilt, all that is good. So there we go. All the bits that we had to do are done. So we put a radio in it. Um, we fixed the rear calipers today. We found out the issue about the electric seat and uh, we made it run, we made it drive. It passed MOT, the car now is ready for the customer to have it back. And we put some new wheels. So have a look at that.